Well, thank you, folks. I'm really excited to be here to talk to you about Open Search. Um, as mentioned, I'm Carl Meadows. I'm director of product for at AWS, overseeing Open Search, Amazon Open Search Service, and AWS's contributions to the Open Source Open Search project. So, for those of you that were here yesterday and saw Nandini's announcement, um, this is a really big week for the Open Search project and the community of folks that have been working on Open Search. We're super excited to now be part of the Linux Foundation, and uh, I think uh, would love to talk to you today about, uh, give you a little more introduction to what Open Search is, maybe get you guys to think about how you could participate, how you could, the software could be beneficial for you and some of the things you're doing, and give a, go into the product a little more. And I will also talk some about how we got here, the innovation we've been working on, and wrap it up. So, open search, yeah, what is it? it? Open search is 122 repos. It's a whole suite of software to provide security uh, search and analytics for customers. But it's really three primary building blocks that that's built on top of. So the first is open search itself, or the open search core, which is the, the engine that powers open search. It has uh, rich full text search capabilities, inverted index, columnar store, as well as an integrated vector database. It's built on top of Apache Lucene to provide it in a, as a distributed framework for Apache Lucene, as well as the native vector capabilities that OpenSearch includes. The second is the visualization tool or the UI, which is OpenSearch dashboards. And this is the front end that enables the users to build workflows and experiences for visualizing their data, discovering their data, building search pipelines, is all done in the OpenSearch UI or OpenSearch dashboards. And the third is Data Prepper, which is a lightweight ingestion tool that can you know, get data from where you want it, convert it, transform it, enrich it, aggregate it, so that when it lands in open search, it's in a format that's really useful and conducive to providing the experiences your users want. Now, if you think about from those components, like well, what do people use open search for? Well, open search is a Swiss army knife. It, the number of use cases, I'm constantly surprised when I hear from different users how they're using the product. Uh, in novel and innovative ways, but they really mostly fall into four categories. The first is search. It's a search engine. Search is really uh, going through a big transformation right now as semantic and ML-assisted techniques are becoming more popular and more powerful, combining those with traditional search and full-text search and with hybrid experiences. We see a lot of interest in just using open search for search. If you think about some of the founding members of the Open Search Software Foundation, Uber is a premier member. That's primarily where they're focusing on is leveraging search to enhance the Uber, uh, Uber, Uber platform and experiences. Another area is the, those native vector capabilities that power the semantic search are rapidly seeing a lot of usage as a backend to build Gen AI applications. This is because the vector database inside OpenSearch is very price performant and scalable with a distributed system that can scale to support tens of billions of vectors. Um, is a powerful capability to, to build on Gen AI apps on top of, be it RAG or chatbots. It's also integrated with Langchain, Llama Index, AI ML workflows and has a composable workflow itself to make it easy to integrate with those experiences. Then on the other side is more analytical use cases. And so open search is very popular for analyzing large streams of machine generated data, particularly time series data. So in observability and security use cases where you're trying to find that needle in a haystack and you want to get insights from your data processing in an engine like open search and then uh, doing that analysis to detect threats or identify anomalies. Um, open search is extremely popular backend for those types of use cases. Open search software foundation, another founding member is SAP. They're primarily working on the analytics side because they use open search to provide analytical use cases to support SAP. Now, how did we get here? So we forced, forked Elasticsearch and started the OpenSearch project three years ago. 
And the beginning was really building a strong foundation so that we had a clean code base with the right infrastructure that the community could engage in and build on. So with the 1.0 release, we started fresh with the platform. Then we uh, set about you know, really building the right uh, engagement model, tools, processes, so that we could build a real community-led project where we could make it, uh, uh, make it very welcoming to other people to contribute and evolve the project and build trust with the community. So with that, you know, we had to build out our governance processes for GitHub, build out our open search marketing site, build out our build system, our test system, and really do the foundational work to, to enable open search to then move fast and innovate. So it was really in 2022 when we got to open search 2.0 and the 2.x that we really started to deliver differenti differenti differentiating innovation. The, um, We've released hundreds of features already, so I'm just gonna talk about a few in my brief time to give you an idea of some of the areas we've been working. So, the first was building that hybrid search so that you could take semantic search experiences and integrate them with traditional search experiences to provide really relevant search results. So we launched the neural, neural search capability that integrates those things and compo provides composite scoring, which has been very powerful because it's combining those techniques often provides much better results than either one by themselves. And we've seen a lot of investment in that area. The second was, you know, another example is we launched the AI toolkit that enables uh, folks to actually integrate AI with the analytical experiences. So if you wanted to have an AI say, take natural language and turn it into a query, or take a set of log results and do a summarization of it. The AI toolkit provides a framework for integrating those into the open search front end. Another area is we really want to integrate with the things that people use and leverage other technologies to build on top of open search. So Prometheus is obviously a very popular project. And so providing direct integration, so I could take my Prometheus metrics, visualize it inside OpenSearch, correlate it with traces and uh, logs that may be in OpenSearch, and provide combined experiences. Um, another example of that is large data lakes. So we integrated with Apache Spark, so that from OpenSearch you can write a query, and if I have data in a data lake that's too expensive for me to index, it's just a vast amount of data, that it can farm that request out to Spark, Spark can collect that data and present it back into OpenSearch as a unified result set. So I can integrate my lakes with my OpenSearch data. So we see a lot of promise with bringing these technologies together. We've also really invested in overhauling the front end, building a new collaboration system, improving the UI, improving the workflows, uh, to make sure that it's a really compelling experience so people enjoy working with their data. And we've also gotten really significant contributions from many in the community. I'll give a few examples here. One was Intel contributed Z standard compression, which is a new compression technique inside OpenSearch, which, you know, with more efficiently and uh, from compute and storage side is a big improvement for open search on the storage side. Another example is from one of the open search software foundation members, Aaron. They provided some very uh, powerful tools inside open search to enable chatbots to remain, remember the context of questions and to do chunking inside open search. So it makes it much easier to integrate with to build RAG systems using open search or build chatbots using open search without having to use other systems to you know, build these complex workflows. Another one of our open search software foundation members, Ivan, did some really deep work on the engine and identified bottlenecks inside Lucene and inside open search that uh, could dramatically improve latencies uh, by parallelizing some of the core engine functions. So it's been really great to have this community of people and the innovation, and this is really just the beginning. So all of this work, building the community, building trust, delivering a great product, has resulted in uh, a lot of momentum for the project. Like I said, there's 122 GitHub repos, 
We've got 75 partners that work you know, inside the Open Search Org. We've had 21 releases. We have a Slack, public Slack channel, which you could join today, which has 2,900 people already on it. We have 6,400 users inside the Open Search Forum. So you can see why moving OpenSearch to the Linux Foundation <laughs> might actually help us scale. Like we were now at a, a situation where we really needed help and could leverage all of Linux Foundation's expertise to really scale this community, making sure we had a, you know, a neutral governance model to welcome in other large scale contributors to work together to build the best possible software that all of us could innovate on top of. So I couldn't be more excited about the future now that we're in Linux Foundation. I'm hoping that some of you are like, oh, this is cool. I didn't know OpenSearch could do all of that. I want to learn more. Now, the Venn diagram of the folks in this room and the folks that are going to be in San Francisco next week is probably small. <laughs> but we have our OpenSearch Con conference, which is a free conference in San Francisco next week. So even if you're not going to be in San Francisco, if you have any people on your team or friends that want to learn more about OpenSearch, it's a great opportunity to, there's going to be a lot of great talks, meet with a lot of other developers and users of OpenSearch. So if you have any interests, you know, feel free to forward that. The QR code sends you to uh, a link with a lot of different materials, including OpenSearch Con, GitHub, our public roadmap, lots of things where you can start getting up to speed in OpenSearch. So I hope this is, in, you know, is useful for you guys. I'm really excited to be working with everybody and how we can build this software that uh, all of us can now rely on and do cool things with. So thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Yeah.